We're now going to look at how to complete the square for a quadratic. Now a complete square is a bracket, like this one here, with a square attached. So when we're asked to complete the square for something like x squared plus 8x, what it actually means is rewrite this, but in a form that has a square bracket, a bit like that one there. So there's our empty square bracket. Now the number that goes in the square bracket is always half of this number here in front of the x. So half of 8 is 4 x plus 4 squared and we're most of the way there now let's just check our answer of x plus 4 squared multiplying the brackets out we get x squared plus 4x plus another 4x plus 16 that's the same as x squared plus 8x plus 16 when simplified. So actually, we were only asked to complete the square for x squared plus 8x. However, we've got x squared plus 8x, but there's an extra 16. This bracket here has 16 too many in it. So we take 16 afterwards to adjust for that. Then we've got the right answer. Part B, let's try a slightly more complicated one. x squared minus 6x minus 4. Now this example here is only slightly more complicated because it's got an extra term here but what we're going to do is just simply ignore this term for now we're only going to complete the square for x squared minus 6x. So remember the number in the bracket is always half of this number here so x minus 3. So when we multiply this bracket out we're going to get x squared minus 6x but because of this minus 3 being squared, there's going to be an extra plus 9. So we take that away, take the square of this number away. That adjusts for that. And then now remember, we've also got a minus 4 on the end. Simplifying it, we get x minus 3 squared minus 13. That's the answer to that one. Part C, slightly more complicated again x squared minus 5x plus 1. So again, completely ignoring this 1 here, just complete the square for x squared minus 5x. Now half of minus 5 is minus 5 over 2. We don't do decimals, we use fractions here. It makes it much easier to do the maths squared. So if we multiply this out, we end up with x squared minus 5x. And this term is going to be, end up being squared and being extra to what we want. So when we square that, we get the top squared is 25. And the bottom squared is 4. So we take that away. Now that's x squared minus 5x. And don't forget there's a 1 added on the end. Now it was much easier if we write this 1 in quarters, much like the 25 over 4 is minus 25 over 4 plus 4 quarters finally that's equal to x minus 5 over 2 squared minus 21 over 4 and that's the answer